Welcome back, Panther Springs friends. And if you are new here, if you happen to stumble onto us out there on the interweb, we are thankful for you. We are thankful that you found us and thankful that you are joining us today. As you can see, boys and girls, I'm about to head out to yet another basketball game, but I wanted to just chat with you a little bit about what today is. Today is Ascension Sunday. Now, if you're like me as a child and said, exclamation what? Stay tuned because we are going to talk about what the Ascension is and what Ascension Sunday is. To help us do that, we're gonna look at a few pages of this book that I ordered off of Amazon. To start with, what does ascension mean? Well, ascension comes from the root word of ascend. What does ascend mean? Well, I'm so glad you asked me, boys and girls, because ascend means dun, 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 up. If you haven't seen this movie, I highly recommend it. My assistant loves this movie and has some uh, grape soda pins socks. So cute, so cute. But ascend means up. So we talk about when Jesus was taken back up into heaven. Okay, in our book here, it says on Easter, we celebrate Jesus rising from the dead. But what is the ascension? On the Feast of Ascension, we celebrate Jesus rising up into heaven and sitting at the right hand of the Father. Hang on to that, boys and girls. The right hand of the Father. The Father. And this is the story. So Jesus returned from the dead, hallelujah, praise the Lord, and appeared to his disciples. The disciples were scared because Jesus was supposed to be dead, right? They didn't get it. The disciples apologized for doubting him, doubting Thomas, remember that one, and he forgave them. Jesus taught the disciples all that they would need to spread the good word of God to the world. And he stayed with his disciples about 40 days. I think we celebrate Ascension Sunday six weeks after Easter. So it's right around 40 days that he spent with his disciples, training them, getting them ready for when he would leave. And he promised them that he would not leave them alone, that he would send them a comforter. And don't forget that either. We're going to talk about that more next week. He promised them that the Holy Spirit would come. Okay, and then on the 40th day, Jesus led his disciples to Mount Olive, where they watched Jesus be taken up and rise up into heaven and be greeted by God and the Holy Spirit. And this is important because it showed that Jesus was both man and the Son of God. Before he left, Jesus blessed his disciples and promised to always be with them, even though they could not see him. Remember our story last week about how we were connected and even though we couldn't see it, it was there. So today, Pastor Cindy is going to read to us from the book of Acts. It's Acts chapter 1, verses 1 through 11. And in chapter 1, verse 8, he says, you will receive power. I got the power. Ask your mom and dad. When the Holy Spirit comes and you will be my witnesses to all the ends of the earth. Do you remember that verse, all that word we talked about? You will be my witnesses to power, Romans 8, 11, because that same power that rose Jesus from the dead, that same power lives in you and it lives in me, boys and girls, and we can do all things through Jesus Christ with that power. He said, I will give you power to be witnesses. What does it mean to be a witness? Well, boys and girls, that's why I have my shirt on here. You know, when I go to a basketball game, I be representing. I want everybody to know who my baby is. I want everybody to know whose team I'm on and who I will be cheering for. And I think that's what Jesus is saying. Go tell everybody whose team you are on. Go tell everybody that I love them, that I died for them. Right now I'm going away, but I'll be coming back for you, boys and girls. I'll be coming back. 
in the book of Matthew, he says, I go to prepare a place for you. In my father's house are many mansions and I will come back and I will take you with me. Somebody better say amen because it's getting good, boys and girls. He ascended, he went to heaven to prepare a place for us. And he tells us to tell everybody to be witnesses, to represent. And not only did he go away to prepare a place for us, but it says that he is seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession, boys and girls. He sees us, and he sees us messing up, and he is seated on the right hand of the Father, and he says, huh, she's with us. She's one of us. We got her. We got her. She might have done went and messed this up, but we got her, and she's got the power. She's going to represent. She's going to witness. She's going to straighten this out. So boys and girls, thank you for joining us this Ascension Sunday. I hope you have a wonderful day. And let us know over on Instagram. If you've not checked us out over on Instagram, please do so. Let us know, like, do you have a team that you'd like to represent? Because you see, I'll be representing the Drill Factory. All right, wish us luck, boys and girls. See you next time. Remember, God loves you. So does Panther Springs United Methodist Church. Bye.